Cyanosis means bluish discoloration of skin, lips, tongue and nail beds. Cyanotic spells are episodes of worsening of cyanosis in infants with birth defects of the hearts, blue babies. Cyanotic spells usually occur after the baby cries or exerts in some other form. During cyanotic spells, there is rapid breathing with increase in intensity of the bluish color. If the spell is prolonged, the baby may develop a fit. A fit is also known as seizure and means epilepsy like rapid movements of hands and feet. Emergency first aid for cyanotic spells is to keep the baby in the knee chest position. Keeping the baby in such a way that knees and front of the chest both touch the bed. A simpler method is to cuddle the baby by bending the knees to touch the chest. Placing in knee chest position cuts off the blood returning from the legs and increases the resistance to pumping out of blood from the heart. Both of these are helpful in allowing more blood reaching the lung for oxygenation. Finally, this leads to improvement in the oxygen level of blood reaching the body and decrease in bluish color. Why are cyanotic spells called TET spells? It is called TET spell because it is common in a disease called Tetralogy of Fallow. Tetralogy of Fallow is a combination of four birth defects of the heart. These four defects are 1. Defect in the wall between two lower chambers of the heart called as ventricular septal defect. 2. Obstruction to flow of blood from right ventricle, lower right chamber of the heart, to the lungs. 3. Thickening of the wall of right ventricle. 4. Overriding of aorta, large blood vessel carrying oxygenated blood to the whole body over the ventricular septal defect. Those with recurrent cyanotic spells will need an initial operation connecting the arm blood vessel to the pulmonary artery known as modified Blalock toxic shunt, BT shunt. Pulmonary artery is the blood vessel carrying blood to the lungs for oxygenation. Later, final repair of the birth defect will be done. In advanced centers, direct repair of the birth defect may be done without resorting to a temporary BT shunt. As worsening of cyanosis in cyanotic spells is due to transient worsening of obstruction to the blood flow to the lungs, insertion of a metallic spring-like support called stent in the obstructed region is another option. This procedure can be done using small tubes known as balloon catheters introduced through the blood vessels of the groin and avoids a major surgery. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.